Hey, what's up? <laughs> what are we doing today, bud? I don't know. Did we think of a name for our camera yet? I mean, it has eyes now, so I like it's like Lucy. I look into its soul every time <laughs> I look at it. Look at you, you're pointing the camera over there. Are you in there? Yeah, I'm in there now. <laughs> what are we doing today, bud? What are we doing? Hey, take a picture of this right here. This is what we're doing. See all this? A hat? Yep, hat. Does anybody recognize this stuff? We're, are those uh, long enough? We're, yeah. Well, they're four inch. It said <clears throat> I was on infamous Nissan. It said these are long enough. What we're doing today is we're redrilling the the hangers for the leaf, for the front hangers for the leaf springs, so we can get some more low in the back. My uh, wheels and tires are real tiny, so I need the low to fill up the wheel wells. Um, we need like bulldozer size hardware to do this. <laughs> also, I assume bulldo bulldozers take bigger stuff than this, right? Um, I mean, yeah, they can. Yeah. Alright, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we, we printed out this template, which is also on infamous Nissan. And I cut this out. I even made a little cardboard copy of it. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. And that's supposed to be our template for where we drill our hole. What are you guys talking about, dude? Right, Go get him, Bob. Go get him. Go get him. Peach! She just jumped through the fence. Is she really? Yeah. Peach! <laughs> There she is, she's like sticking her head out. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Alright, so Ronnie's done this before, and this is what he says. He said that, god dang it, we don't even have to take the wheels off. He said what we do is we're going to take this 12 off right here. Take, ah, Peach, get off me. <laughs> we're going to take this 12 out. There's a nut on the back here that we're going to take out. We're gonna remove this nut right here. Oh, damn. <laughs> and uh, once we get those out, we're just gonna swing this down and ow, get off, Peach. <laughs> and then we're gonna redrill. We got our template, and we'll show y'all how the template fits up against here. But we redrill, and it basically just lifts this up. And you said up and back or up and forward? I think it's up and forward. Oh, well, I guess we'll see. Ronnie's over here trying to reason with a yes. two-year-old. It's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> what is it? It's a, it's a job. That's what I said. It was a job. <laughs> so, uh, we've been at it, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Not a big deal. This is a pretty short job. This is like a 30, 45-minute job. But uh, we got them loose on both sides. Now we just need to re-drill. We're going to find our template. Let me get Let's see. This template goes like this. Like I said, I, I downloaded it from Infamous Nissan. Ugh. I downloaded it from Infamous, Infamous Nissan. I printed it out and then I cut it out on cardboard. It should go about like this. And the whole, they say on the, on the thread that it should go up two inches and back a half an inch. Uh, and it looks about that. Maybe a little more than two inches from center to center. Maybe not. Back half an inch, that looks a little more like three quarters, but my template looks a little oversized. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Your face is oversized. What? Yep. Your legs are oversized, because I'm looking down tiny. here. Yeah, but it's my perspective. <laughs> like your head's super tiny, and your feet are super big. My feet are big, though. You know what they say, big feet, big socks. <laughs> All right, this is kind of important. See this on top? Ronnie's drill has a level. That is important because on this side, especially, the gas tank is right in the way over here of the hanger. Like we need to drill through right here, gas tank's on the other side. We can't drill back through this way. So we have to drill through, through this side and straight through the other side. Uh, so the level makes sure that both of our holes are opposite each other. Um, if your drill doesn't have a level, I say get a drill with a level, <laughs> or, or I don't know. But um, make sure when you're drilling like this, you put a, put a piece of wood on the back side, so when you drill through, you don't drill into the, uh, into the gas tank. That's important. 
So, we got one side done without Bo injuring himself. We got one side done. I didn't break my wrist with the freaking drill. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> this is a big drill bit. Don't fool yourselves. This thing takes three quarter inch bolts, which are this big, and this drill bit right here. Uh, we started off with a smaller bit. We worked up, we worked up in size to different size bits. We even used a stepper bit at one point. Um, make sure you punch your uh, where you're going to be drilling, so your drill bit doesn't walk around a lot. Um, you want this. This isn't rocket science. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want it as level and as straight as possible, so it doesn't. When your leaf springs are compressing and moving the little bit that they do, you don't want them, you know, leaning into your your hanger bracket, especially about since you're about to be cutting on it. Um, but we got the hole drilled it's straight through. The bolt fits, and that's really all we need to do. It goes right through here. And uh, with this four-inch bolt, I use four-inch bolts. Oh, dead coming. <laughs> I use four-inch bolts and. With the four inch bolt, I got three quarters of an inch of bolt sticking out on the other side, which is enough to put a nut on, which is just enough to put the nut on, which is fine. Make sure you can go with a four and a half inch, four and a half inch bolt if you want, whatever. But it's, it's hard to find half inch increments in bolts like this. You want to use a nylon lock nut. That way you don't have to use a lock washer or any other washer. So you can just use a, a nylon lock nut. It'll hold it on there. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're using the lock nuts. Um, probably not using the lock washer. We're going to use those flat washers. Daddy. I don't I think we have room. Okay. So, we don't have room for it. Did they have longer bolts at Ace? They didn't. I went to Ace, Lowe's, and Home Depot. They had 5 inch, but they didn't have 4.5 inch. And 5 inch, I think on the other side, would be too long. hit the gas tank. Yeah. Would be able to get a, get I went to on. Tractor Supply. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's where I got Tractor Squad is probably the place to go. Fast and all, but I think they closed the Fast and all here in town. Yeah, they did. Is did it you closed? Get four and a half on yours? I have no idea what they are. One's longer than the other because they didn't have the right ones. And... Ronnie has grade eight on his. Yeah. I bought grade five bolts. Uh, these look like either fours or four and a halfs. If I had to guess, I'd say four and a half. So. But you didn't use washers either, so. On that one, on this one, I did because this one was longer. Oh, okay. So, no joke. Drilling through these things is ridiculous. We just made a pile of metal down here. And we got through the other side. Bolt fits good. I can find a hole. Bolt fits good. Looks relatively straight, which is really all we need. What are we doing now? Putting the bolts in. And that's it, and then we got to cut the uh, the rest of the hangers off, right? Yeah, if you want to do that. You don't have to cut it off, but if you're trying to get low, you got little tiny tires like so, you should probably cut them off. You got an angle grinder where you can put a cutoff wheel on, or something like that? Um, I mean, I have a plasma cutter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have an angle grinder. <laughs> plasma cutter. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it would get too hot, but it might. But yeah, we have the angle grinder we can cut right off. Sweet. Well, let's do it. All right, so we got the truck back on the ground. Uh, we probably lost an inch and a half, maybe close to two inches, you think? Yeah. It's definitely lower. Yeah, definitely it's definitely lower. lower. It's we're, uh, we were looking underneath for possible contact points, and we found one. Um, we're sitting on the bump stop on that side. We've got about, let's see, I don't know if you can see. Let's see. We got about three-eighths of an inch under that bump stop, but we're sitting on that one. I don't know why my truck's sitting uneven like that. Uh, probably try to figure that out at some point, but we're going to jack the truck back up and take the bump stops off, so we're not riding on them. What you think, Bowser? Huh? <laughs> Alright, so we got it jacked up on the frame, by the frame. <sighs> Pretty easy access to the bump stop here. Just got two bolts, 14 millimeter. Look at Ronnie over there. He's actually cleaning his garage for a change, putting tools up. It's funny. Earlier I needed a, a 10 millimeter wrench, and uh, he has this huge toolbox over there. And there's a bunch of wrenches on top. I don't know if you can see, but he also has multiple drawers of wrenches. But only one 10 millimeter wrench. He has this one right here. Give me that back. This one. It's I'm going to take it. Give me it. Give me it. <laughs> So yeah, that one 10 millimeter wrench, nice.
Don't show them where it is. <laughs> it's in a secret spot over there. So, we have to settle the bed. And this is how we do it. <laughs> it looks a lot better now. We do the chokadori dance. <laughs> All right, check it out now. It looks good. <laughs> look it's Gibraltar. Oh man, it's way better. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's still lower on this side. A few side. inches. Look. Yeah. It's it's like an inch and a half lower on this side. Yeah, this side's like perfect, exactly how we wanted. So let's look at the hangers. This hanger swooped way back. You guys see it? Swooped. That one swooped, but it's not near as far. So, Wait, this is right here. Yeah, see this one. Yeah, like it looks like it's swooped further back. It does look swooped further back, I don't know why which would make it lower. Jack the truck up right there. Jack it up right where? Right there on the hanger. On the hanger? Yeah, try and get the hanger to swoop back. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> we shall see what happens. You could have used the little one right here instead of that monstrosity. Yeah, right there. I'll have to go back a little bit. But for now, right there. Because it's not hitting on anything. It just looks like that hanger needs to be. Maybe the back. hanger's just like seized up or something. Yeah, no, it's picking up the whole truck. Stop. Go down. You think maybe loosen that, loosen this nut on this hanger? We can try. This one's all, this one's all laid up. Over here, the bushings. Oh, so yeah. it's all pretty loose. I don't know about that one. I mean, it looks like it should be fairly loose. Yeah, it does. What is that, a 17? Is that enough that loose? <laughs> Nothing's hitting up here. I got all that taken care of. That's fine, that's fine. What's what? Paint? Old, old bottle of paint. Good job, dude. Watch out, buddy. It's backing off. Oh, it's sweeping. No sweepage. Watch out, I'm gonna push down. Mm -mm. The you springs. The shocks compressing. Make it do that? I was wondering. So, but that one's not like extended. It should be pushed in. Uh, we need some insight, guys. Yeah. My truck was all jacked up. So. Yeah, you had a problem with like your sway bar hitting on something, right? Yeah. It hit up there. There. Hey, hey, stop. Ah, oh, dang it. I believe I opened up this paint. I did. I see. Alright, hold on a second, guys. We'll be back. <laughs> Alright, so this side ended up looking way better than the other side. Passenger side looks real good. It got us just as low as we wanted. The driver's side's a little higher than we wanted. We just gotta figure out why they're uneven. Anyways, Ronnie's over here looking up under my hood for some reason. What are you doing? I, I, well, I'm putting that truck together at work. Oh, Ronnie's working on a 4x4 four four, um, hard body, yeah. D21. And they took it apart, so I'm kind of like trying to figure out how to put it back oh, together. Oh, you didn't take it apart? No. Yeesh, that yeah. sucks. Charge them extra for that. I got a motor, I got a motor and a truck without a motor and a mm. broken transmission that I had to fix because they Yeesh. just yanked the motor out and broke the transmission. Yeah, Ronnie was telling me earlier that uh, if you have a 4x4 hard body or if you know anybody with a 4x4 hard body that they are super difficult to work on like transmission wise and engine wise. He had to drop the engine back in and to do so he had to put the oil pan in the engine bay before he dropped the engine in there. So weird. So he had to like put the oil pan in there and the oil pickup 
and then drop the engine in and then cock the oil pan start putting them together and then what then you had to like lower the engine down the rest of the way stab the transmission in you lower the engine down put the pickup on with this much room because the pain the <laughs> and replace the o-ring that goes in it so put that on then get the transmission and the motor made it together and then put the pan on inside the truck and two of the bolts on the pan are like covered up by another part of the pan because like the sump on a four-wheel drive is like this big oh it's, it's tiny and so like they made it wider so it could hold more oil yeah so it covers up some bolts and you have to like squeeze in between the wheel wells so it's pretty terrible that sucks stick to two-wheel drive <laughs> okay so what's left on this is on these hangers now you can choose to do this or not, but as you can see, you're probably going to want to do this. Um, we are going to cut from here over, cut all the rest of this hanger off because that's definitely going to scrape. I mean, there's like, I don't know, two and a half, maybe three inches between that hanger and the, and the ground. Did you slam my hood while I was trying to talk? Yep. Jeez, dude, no respect. Nope. I have to teach this kid. Well, you can beat me at Apex. <laughs> Anyway, so we got the bump stops off. It's low on this side. At least we got one side looking good. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to figure out what's going on. Anyway, that's it for today. We did this, uh, this, uh, moving the hangers, the redrilling the hanger thing. And it worked out pretty good. We just got to figure out the unevenness. And just side note, it was uneven when we backed it in here before we did the redrilling of the hangers. Yeah. So we didn't just do, like it's not like we did the redrilling of the hangers wrong. You can look. You Not can look that right wrong, here. but anyway, you can see like on the on the on the the back line of the bed, the body line right there, that the passenger side is the bed, yeah, the passenger side is lower. Yeah. I mean, just a little bit, but it makes a difference. Quarter of an inch or half an inch, which is probably about what the difference is. Let's measure it. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, I'm 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 betting it's an inch and a half. On the yeah, where the fenders are, I'm betting the difference is probably an inch and a half, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half. It's right here. Boom. Let's measure the difference real quick. So when you do this, you have to measure from the lip of the wheel. Okay. Because the tire may be different. So, about five and, I don't know. Three quarter? Yeah. From the top of the lip of the wheel? Yep. Okay. Right in there. Five and a half. And then check this other side. So this one's four and a half. Wow, so an inch and a quarter difference. Inch and a quarter difference. Well, there you go. We got it done. We just got to figure out this unevenness in my truck. It might just be the shocks or something dumb like that. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Because now that we've re-drilled, we probably want to put Quest shocks on this. Oh, really? Yeah, because we just brought the Quest shocks up. So the, sh the shock Are they up. shorter? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, then we're going to do that. That might be the next thing we do. Quest shocks. I, I don't want your old Quest shocks. Why not? We put them in the front. I don't want your old Quest shocks. Okay. I want I want to go on a new Quest. <laughs> Anyway, we're out. Laters. Bye, guys. Give him this wave right here. Why are you pointing at Mexico? Am I pointing at Mexico? My bad. <laughs> I'll point it right in your eyeball. There you go. Oh, <laughs> it's too much.